What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more free run with episode 14. Last time we got ourselves a priest and it became very evident very quickly that we need a priest on this little adventure of ours to do the healing because Stark got poisoned very early on in the episode and uh, the, the priest at the church said that it's too late. He's going to have his brain start melting and the priest that we ended up getting uh, healed that seemingly incurable poison very, very quickly. And uh, I believe Farron said that 20% of adventurer deaths are caused by poison. So, it, yeah, we, we, we need a priest on this adventure. Uh, so we're going to dive into this new, this next episode. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let's get it. <laughs> that 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 heiter was always such a a drunkard. <laughs> what is she mad about this time? <laughs> She's mad at him for something. What's going on now? Are the lovebirds fighting? <laughs> oh, valid, valid. <laughs> it's Farron's birthday, and he didn't get her anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve this, dude. You absolutely deserve this. He has a point. He pro she probably should go after him. He's just a teenage boy. He doesn't understand what he needs to be doing. Let alone, he doesn't understand what he did wrong. I actually wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that he doesn't remember his own birthday. Right? People don't know how you feel unless you tell them. <laughs> That's another big thing. When you get upset about something, about when you get upset because somebody does get you something, but they don't know what you like, it's kind of hard for someone to get you anything. <laughs> we got free run spying on them. <laughs> I mean, you're doing the same thing, so you can't really talk, bud. I mean, you guys are pretty, pretty similar, dude. <laughs> Picky with his food, drinking, lying all the time. <laughs> you guys are pretty similar. Head pats, that's how. That's how she'll praise you with head pats. Oh, that's some decent praise. <sighs> I would have loved to have an old God damn dude. <laughs> she is an older woman. A much older woman, like a thousand years older. 
<laughs> but I get it. He, he he means a one that appears older. <laughs> Say like uh Freeren's master ish uh in her younger days. But still <laughs> Yeah. If you, uh I, I didn't even see this cat this uh subtitle right here. Few women are older than me. <laughs> but appearance wise, yeah, he's got a point. Uh, she doesn't need to be so uh, shy about getting a bracelet for her birthday. <laughs> Just how much crap did she have in, in this in this suitcase of hers? <coughs> oh, damn. That was out of nowhere. Don't lose the ring, though. Okay, so <laughs> they're getting carried away by a, a, a flying monster. You know, I, I got to pause this real quick. I got to back it up just a little bit because I feel really bad for the horse. The horse is just dangling here. This poor damn horse. <laughs> he's strapped to the wagon, so he's he's stuck, but he's just dangling there. I'm actually impressed that the the canopy of this uh, cart is uh, holding up because those talons obviously will rip through the top of it. But still, the canopy is holding up the entire weight of everyone inside the cart and the horse. Yeah, the, the only problem is you guys are flying. Yeah, you're in a flying carriage right now. <laughs> Spare me the details and and tell me how to tell it to a stupid person, really. Okay, so in other words, it takes more magic than necessary to make it fly. <laughs> she speaks so harsh to him. I mean, I don't doubt that he probably would survive, but still, telling him to jump down would <laughs> is a little bit too harsh. <laughs> so <laughs> Eisen was just like a meteor every time. <laughs> oh, that is that is a really bad situation for them. I got I just got to say because th this bird is going to slam them into the ground. I have actually witnessed real birds do that in the past. Asked uh I caught saw one bird catch a fish. He flew it up over the ground and dropped it so it would kill the fish. And then he went down and flew it it didn't went down and ate it. So this is actually normal behavior for a bird and it's just a much bigger demon bird. Instant decapitation. Okay, so now you're going to have to do something because uh, now you're all going to fall. Okay, so it looks like they used magic to try and slow the descent a little bit. Look at, look, the horse. <laughs> there was a plan in that? I missed it. <laughs> Did she lose the ring? Hopefully they find it. 
スタルクス様からの誕生日プレゼントです選ぶのに三時間もかかったぜ結局スタルクが選んだのか Hey, don't be complaining about spending three hours trying to find a gift なるほどな You should enjoy that Oh, it took three hours because he didn't know how she would like it or not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't uh, intend for that, but still. <laughs> She's so cruel. I love it. Ooh, caught a boar for some hot pot. That actually sounds really good. I don't think I've ever had a hot pot, but that sounds good. You should have told Farron before. She would have been helping you. In order to find this ring. Mm. Oh. I just realized the implication of the ring. I, I have to pause, but I just realized the implication of the ring. The, the lotus uh, on the flower means eternal love. And he, Himmel gave it to her. Mmm, Freyra never realized it. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, th that makes me feel so bad for him, Mel. Oh, I guarantee he met, knew what it meant. I guarantee he knew what that meant. <laughs> Oh, that's convenient. A spell to find lost accessories? That couldn't have happened at a more perfect time. <laughs> he absolutely knew. That reaction means he absolutely knew. Ah! Now I know the meaning behind this. <laughs> I also saw, I also saw a meme a while back. Uh, I don't think it was about this in particular scene, but it was very, very similar, where. Uh, it it was something Himmel did, it and then eighty like a hundred years or something passed by, you know, from the time it happened to the time after Himmel's death and yada yada, where uh, Freyren finally understood the meaning behind something. It's like, mm. so yeah, <laughs> this is another one of those instances. It's like, oh, she has no clue what his intent was here, and it's it's so sad. But this is such a beautiful scene. I love it. I'm glad they found the ring, though. <laughs> because Mr. Stark's an idiot. <laughs> She she needs to not deny that she and she likes it, but that's still, uh, I, she probably doesn't like it to that to the extent of the meaning of the flower, but still, uh, <laughs> it, it kind of fits that she's like because Mister Stark's an idiot. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Ren. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.